do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, the major scale. In this lesson, I'm going to show you two ways that I teach the C major scale to my students in the beginning. The first thing you have to know about the major scale is how to make it. First of all, it starts on a note. It's called the root note. Then it ends on the same root note, what's called an octave higher. So there's eight notes in every major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do are the syllables that we learn to sing when we're younger, to sing do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So there's eight different notes in the major scale. The first note's called the root note. Then it's built by adding notes to that, to that root note in a sequence of whole steps and half steps. Sounds very confusing, but it's pretty simple. A whole step on the guitar is two frets, and a half step is one fret. So if I put my finger here, and I say move up a half step, you go up one fret. If I say move up a whole step, you go up two frets. On the piano, it's similar. If you're on a white key, and there's a black key next to it, from the white key to the black key is a half step. If you skip the black key, that's a whole step. We're not doing the piano, we're doing the guitar. So, here you go. We're gonna start on a note, the root note, right here, C. We're gonna move up a whole step, two frets to there, which is D. We're gonna move up another whole step to E. Then we're gonna move up a half step, just one fret to F. Then we're gonna move up a whole step to G, and a whole step to A and a whole step to B, and a half step to C. So I just played you. By remembering the pattern of whole step, whole step, and half, whole step, whole step, whole step, half. This is the fingering pattern that I like to teach everyone to do to play that scale. First finger, whole step is your third finger. The next whole step you get by sliding your third finger two frets, and then you play the half step with your pinky. So that much of it again goes first finger, whole step to your third finger, whole step slide, pinky. The next note's a whole step away. So that's right here. So I'm gonna put my first finger there again, do the same pattern. Third finger to the whole step, third finger to the whole step, and then my pinky. So I have the same thing, note, whole step, slide, pinky, note, whole step, slide, pinky, two times, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, whole step, slide, pinky, whole step, whole step, slide, pinky, one, three, slide, pinky, whole step, whole step, whole step, pinky. Going backwards, it would go pinky, three, one, slide, reset your hand, pinky, three, one, slide, up and back. Second way I like to teach the pattern is across two strings. So I literally break the eight notes in half. I play four on the first string, C, D, E, F, not on the first string, but on the first set of the two strings. So I'm on the second string, C, D, E, F, same pattern. Then I'm looking for this note, G, so I have to find it right there. So let's start again. C, D, E, F to G with my first finger on the first string, A, slide, and pinky. So the pattern goes, Same fingering, but just broken up across two strings. So here are the two patterns that I like to teach my students first to play the major scale on the guitar. One, three, slide, pinky, one, three, slide, pinky on one string, or one, three, slide, pinky, and three, slide, pinky on two strings. Please share this lesson. Please subscribe. Thanks for listening.